Hi, I'm Dr. Marcy McGuire, Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. I actually was born in Durham, North Carolina while my uh, dad was in residency for uh, pediatrics and then uh, moved subsequently to Bethesda, Maryland um, when he did a fellowship in oncology and then uh, ultimately moved really back home um, to Malvern, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Philadelphia, um, and then actually moved to Hopewell, New Jersey when I was in the fifth grade. Um, something special about those towns that was really suburbia, um, a great place to grow up, lots of families and um, kids around. I don't follow sports that much uh, personally, but I have always been athletic and um, played basketball, softball, um, a little bit of soccer, uh, you know, cross country growing up. I still run quite a bit um, and, you know, work out in the gym. I don't get to play on team sports as much anymore, basketball and softball, because there isn't as much time. but. Uh, something I really do uh, is a big part of my life, something I like to do. I did grow up in Hopewell, New Jersey. I just went to the Lawrenceville School in Lawrenceville for high school and then Princeton for college. So I kind of stayed at home um, and then ventured out to Medical College of Virginia for medical school and then Tufts in Boston for residency and then down to Bethesda, Maryland um, at the National Institutes of Health for fellowship. My, you know, my father has always been an inspiration. He's a pediatric oncologist, um, so a doctor for children with cancer, and and certainly, um, you know, hardworking, really kind and generous man who, you know, has made a huge influence in my life. Um, you know, and beyond that, I've had other mentors who really have encouraged me to sort of be all that I can be. Um, James Seegers is a, a my mentor from fellowship uh, at the National Institutes of Health, and he really pushed me to um, try different things in the laboratory and, and also to kind of think out of the box in terms of uh, uh, investigating issues that patients might have. Uh, when I was a molecular biology major in college, I took classes on genetics and embryology, and um, I really decided I wanted to be a reproductive endocrinologist, and, and then that kind of led me to medicine, which is a sort of circuitous way to get there, but um, it's certainly the right decision for me. Uh, I spend most of my time with my daughter. Uh, I have a four and a half year old who is my joy and my inspiration and who I want to be with whenever I have free time. The question everyone asks is, what, is my, what are my chances? Am I going to have a baby? And you know, the, the answer is going to be different for every person. As I said before, most people who come to RMA do ultimately have a baby. Most people who come here are successful. Uh, for some patients, and actually for most patients, it probably only takes a cycle or two depending on the type of treatment that they have. Uh, for other patients, and depending on their age and their medical background, it may, may be more involved of a process, uh, but we usually do have some solution for, for most people who come here. Every patient, no matter what their age, has a chance of having um, an embryo that is genetically abnormal, meaning that that embryo is missing or has additional parts of certain chromosomes. And that's the main reason why anybody has a miscarriage, whether they're 21 years old or whether they're 44 years old. Um, and to this point, IVF and infertility practices in general have been able to help individuals develop embryos, but no one has really been able to test those embryos to see which ones have genetic abnormalities and which ones don't. However, RMA uh, has developed this technology which is highly accurate and is able to determine which embryos contain those genetic abnormalities and which ones don't. And this enhances pregnancy rates across all age groups and lowers miscarriage rates as well. You know, I graduated fellowship relatively recently, um, and so was recently on the job search. And when I um, was allowed an interview at RMA, I was extremely excited. This is uh, far and beyond one of the best practices in the country. And it was an honor just to interview here. And to be a physician at this practice where great things are done every day is an honor uh, beyond compare. I think it gives you good perspective. Um, there are things that matter and then there are the things that really matter and um, for me and I think for a lot of other people career is important and work is important but what uh, what really makes me happy at the end of the day is spending time with the, the people that I love and the people that um, you know care about me as well and 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 again, that comes, all comes back into play when you're looking across the table at a couple who just desperately wants to have a child of their own. And I know how wonderful it is and how, how rewarding it is and how fulfilling it is. And, and of course, I want to help that couple to fulfill their dream as well.